culture and intelligence the reason to study culture and intelligence is that they are so inextricably interlinked intelligence cannot be fully or even meaningfully understood outside its cultural context many investigators have realized the importance of cultural context for the psychology of intelligence and cognition the relationships between different aspects of intelligence can vary across cultures with correlations that are positive in one setting proving to be negative in another culture before going to the details please remember to subscribe this channel if you are new here do watch other videos in this channel share it with students and those who love learning psychology thank you culture and intelligence are two complex and interrelated concepts culture refers to the shared beliefs values customs behaviors and artifacts that characterize a group or society intelligence is the ability to acquire and apply knowledge and skills culture can have a significant impact on intelligence why because different cultural practices can influence cognitive development and the way people think and solve problems intelligence can also have different meanings and values in different cultures let's see an example consider you live on a small island where most people get their food by fishing from boats it would be important to know how to fish and how to repair a boat if you were an exceptional angler your peers would probably consider you intelligent if you were also skilled at repairing boats your intelligence might be known across the whole island think about your own family's culture what values are important for latin families for italian families they are different right for example in irish families hospitality and telling an entertaining story are marks of the culture if you are a skilled storyteller other members of the irish culture are likely to consider you intelligent some cultures place a high value on working together as a collective in this culture the importance of the group supersedes the importance of the individual achievement intelligence in various cultures intelligence may be conceived in different ways in different cultures how culture and intelligence can be intertwined in various cultures let's see in japan they has a culture that places a high value on education discipline and hard work this cultural emphasis is reflected in the country's education system which is known for its rigorous curriculum and demanding standards as a result japan has high level of academic achievement and is a leader in science and technology then united states it is a melting point of cultures and values with a strong emphasis on individualism and innovation the country has a diverse education system that prioritizes critical thinking creativity and problem solving however there are also significant disparities in educational opportunities and outcomes based on socio economic status race and ethnicity then in china china has a long history of valuing education and intellectual achievement with a focus on rigorous study and discipline this cultural emphasis has contributed to china's success in science technology and economic development but there are also concern about the impact of a highly competitive and stressful education system because it affect the students mental health and well being intelligence in indian tradition intelligence and intellectual development have been highly valued in indian tradition for thousands of years india has a rich history of scholarship and intellectual inquiry with contributions to fields such as mathematics astronomy 
philosophy and literature. One of the earliest texts on intelligence in Indian tradition is the Susruta Samhita, a Sanskrit text on medicine and surgery that dates back to around 600 BC. This text contains detailed descriptions of the anatomy of the human body and surgical procedures demonstrating a high level of scientific knowledge and observation. Another important text is the Artha Shastra, a treatise on politics and economics written by Kautilya around the 4th century BC. The Artha Shastra it discussed the importance of intelligence and espionage in political affairs and provides detailed strategies for gathering information and maintaining control. India has a long history of intellectual and spiritual inquiry with a focus on critical thinking, contemplation and self-discovery. The Vedas, a collection of sacred texts that date back to around 1500 BCE. It contains philosophical and metaphysical discussions on the nature of reality and the purpose of human life. The Upanishads, which are part of the Vedas, it contains discussion on the nature of consciousness and the relationship between the individual self and the universal self. India continues to place a high value on education and intellectual development with a large and growing population of highly educated individuals in the field of science, technology, medicine and business. India has also made significant investment in its education system with a focus on improving access to quality education for all. The concept of Buddhi. In Indian philosophy and spiritual traditions, the concept of Buddhi refers to higher intellect. Buddhi is considered to be a higher aspect of the mind than the lower sensory based mind which is prone to distractions and illusions. Buddhi is associated with the ability to discriminate between right and wrong, truth and false, and good and evil. It is the faculty of the mind that enables individuals to make sound judgments, exercise discernment, and develop wisdom. According to the Indian spiritual traditions, Buddhi is a key factor in achieving spiritual liberation and realizing one's true nature. The concept of Buddhi is discussed in various Indian texts, including the Upanishads, the Bhagavad Gita, and the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. In these texts, Buddhi is often contrasted with the lower, instinctual mind, which is associated with desire, attachment, and ignorance. The goal of spiritual practice is to cultivate buddhi and transcend the limitations of the lower mind. Buddhi is also associated with the concept of viveka, which means discrimination or discernment. Viveka is the ability to distinguish between the eternal and the temporary, the self and the non-self, and the real and the unreal. Through the cultivation of viveka and buddhi, Individuals can develop a deeper understanding of themselves and the world around them and ultimately attain spiritual enlightenment. Factors for success in the Indian context Cognitive capacity, social competence, emotional competence and entrepreneurial competence are all important factors for success in Indian context. Let's see each of it. Cognitive capacity. In India, there is a strong emphasis on academic achievement and intellectual development. Individuals with strong cognitive capacity are often highly valued and success in the field such as science, technology, engineering and mathematics and is considered a key indicator of intelligence and competence. The country has a large and growing population of highly educated individuals and India has become a global hub for technology and innovation. Then social competence. India is a country with a rich and diverse culture and social competence is 
highly valued. Individuals with strong social skills and the ability to communicate effectively across cultures are often successful in business and other fields. In addition, Indian society places a strong emphasis on family and community and individuals who can navigate complex social networks and build strong relationships are often highly respected. Emotional competence. In recent years, there has been growing recognition in India of the importance of emotional intelligence and mental health. The country has a large and diverse population and individuals who can understand and manage their emotions as well as the emotions of the others are often more successful in personal and professional relationships. There is a growing awareness of the importance of mental health in India and the country has made significant strides in improving access to mental health services. Then comes entrepreneurial competence. India has a long history of entrepreneurship with a thriving business community and a growing number of startups. Individuals with strong entrepreneurial skills and the ability to identify and pursue business opportunities are often highly successful in India. The country has made significant investments in promoting entrepreneurship and innovation and there are many resources available to help individuals start and grow their businesses. Overall, the cognitive capacity, the social competence and emotional competence along with the entrepreneurial competence are all important factors for success. The individual who can develop and leverage these competencies are often highly valued and respected. Now let's have a quick recap on what we have learned. We have learned in the culture and intelligence topic, the intelligence, how it is understood in various cultures, then intelligence in Indian tradition, the concept of buddhi in India and the factors for success in the Indian context. Hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you and keep smiling.